Because honestly, her grandfather is really creepy. Very. And perverse. <laughs> Very. I want to become one with my granddaughter. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and really, you know, I know what's when she grows up and. Ah! Go away, run away, run away, run away, run away. Hold run away. on, weird. Don't freak. I have one. <laughs> I have one. <laughs> you have a lot of lavender water. Though. Oh my goodness, I know. Anyway, anyway as I was saying before, I was so really hey. by the scissor uh, brother. <laughs> scissor man! Whatever. He's a brother, too. <laughs> that worked out nicely, did it not? Yeah. Ah. Ominous! Oops. Hey, look, an arrow. Go get it. I see it. We need that. What were you going to say? I don't remember. Actually, to me, you were just babbling. Hey! <laughs> oh, I was gonna say, you know, instead of, you know, being like, oh, this is gonna go away, uh, it's gonna go away when she grows up, and blah, 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 you know, there's this thing called a phone. Yeah. That you can call her with. You can make a phone call. It's amazing. I mean, what would you rather do? Would you rather rip out your granddaughter's heart to, and drink her blood, or would you rather just make a phone call? I guess some people are old-fashioned like to do blood rituals instead. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, they can't get with the new technology. I know. They're like, screw the phone, man. Proper sacrifice always has to be like a virgin's blood or something. That I wonder, you know, now that we're thinking of April Fool's and stuff, do you think Capcom were just being douches and they were like, oh yeah, there's this game and it's awesome and whatever, and then they gave us this and there and they were like, ha ha, just kidding. And at the end, wouldn't it at least have something like, oh, it's all a big joke? But then again, a lot of people would probably be very angry. They wouldn't put that. Actually, in the end, it's a big joke anyway, so... It yeah, you guys will see. Ah! He's coming. Whoa, he's fast! I told you he's fast. I hope this works. Please oh, work. There's a shiny. Yay, it worked! Well, he thought it was a good idea at the time. <laughs> Look at this. Employees memo. I've received orders from Ralph and Jemima to kill still, still more. What? To kill still more. I cannot <laughs> continue in this fashion. I killed ten last week, and this week they want twenty. You know what? Suddenly I'm craving pancakes. <laughs> oh, yeah. When will it stop? Soon there will not be a person left in the entire village. I think that's the point. I must do something about this. They are to be imprisoned in the kitchen. One of the steel bars on the window can be removed. I do hope that they are able to see that before it is too late. And once they escape, I pray that they will tell the world of the atrocities that go on behind these walls. And then they died. <laughs> the end. <laughs> Thanks for playing. Oh god, now there's a ghost. wondering in the kitchen, like, hey, I'm gonna have a midnight snack. Oh, now you're gonna die. Yeah, pretty much. No midnight snack for you. No poop. That mystery meat stew. Ew. Yeah, we know what that mystery meat is. Ew, weird. What? Shush, shush. <laughs> what? Like, By the way, you have to read that memo or else Alyssa will not, even though the bar looks loose, she won't do anything with it. It's kind of like that whole picture crap in uh, Crowder. Oh, with the moon, is that with the moonflower? No. no, where she was like, this picture looks out of place. Maybe oh, yeah. I maybe I should move it, but she doesn't until she sees a picture of the frame that's upright. She's dumb. No kidding. Yeah, you can duck here. By the way. Yeah, that took me a while to figure out when I played the game. Weird just stood there and said, Okay, Alyssa, do your magic, and she just stayed there. <laughs> oh! Okay, Mr. Headless Ghost. You went right through me. So, I think that ghost needs its head. <laughs> you know, in order to go away. <laughs> I don't... Probably on a pipe somewhere. I don't know where the head is. I've never, like, given that ghost anything. I've never, like, figured out. Maybe it's just there to hunt. Ah! Maybe it's one of the Scissor Twins' victims. Oh, yeah. I thought it was the employee, though. 
Like, you know how you get his memo and then the ghost suddenly appears? Oh. Yeah. No, but this is a different ghost, is it? I, oh, think it's the same it's the same, I think it's, and he just like travels around the castle. He's like the castle ghost. This is a clock tower. Ooh, okay. Scissor woman in there. Hey, weird! What? She's been cooked. Yeah! <laughs> Darn, we don't have sunglasses though. We were supposed to put them on. It's not like people can see you doing it anyway. I could say, hey, I'm putting sunglasses. No, that would kill it. Okay, anyway, I need Ash. Quit distracting me, weird. You and your CSI references. <laughs> Excuse me? You're the one that made the CSI reference. But, but it was. I was just cool. completing it. I was actually making a David Caruso reference, though. <laughs> you know, Horatio. CSI Miami. Oh, never mind. Most of you probably know what I'm talking about. Oh my god! Watch CSI. Yeah, but you at least know about Horatio, the dude with the sunglasses and his witty one-liners. Oh, uh, whatever. That's because everybody knows that. It's funny. Well, I'm sorry. I don't have cable. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You don't have cable and I don't have good internet. So, you know, both of us have something and then nothing. <laughs> you know, I was going to say something, but I forgot. You know, you interrupted my ranting about, uh, what's the face? Who's? Scissor Woman. Who? Yeah. Why? Look! Because she should have shoved her. Yes, I see that. She should have shoved it. <laughs> what? She should have shoved her, like, all the way in the oven and then closed the door, and then that would have been, been the end of her. been it. And then we wouldn't have to battle her. But Alyssa is dumb. And how many times do we have to go over this? It's almost the end of the game. If you're not grasping that yet. But. Dear there's Lord. There's so much suspension of disbelief in this game. A lot. It's hard to wrap your mind around that. I need to write, write Capcom about that, too. Suspension of disbelief. <laughs> All right, weird. You have fun with that. I need to make a note of that somewhere. Now I have to look at the picture. In loving mother suffers in place of daughter A. That's nice. You know, it all makes sense now. All so happy in this place. Is there everybody else connecting the dots? No? I would hope so. Well, if not, N, Nancy, daughter, A, a Alyssa, Alyssa, D, her grandfather. Oh, look! 2000. Ugh! <laughs> Weird didn't like that year. <laughs> Around the blasted continent until my shoes are almost worn through. <laughs> <laughs> no Did you hear how he said shoes? My shoes! That's <laughs> how he said it! Until my shoes are almost worn through. Ow! I feel sure. Well, that's not the way it is. That hurt. Three years he's been doing this. This guy is, um, obsessed. This guy can go away to jail for premeditated murder. Definitely. Pre what? What? Pre what? Meditated? Oh, you said something else. No, I said meditated. You said, it's not like you said premeditated murder. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, we can at least have all this evidence. Just lock him up. It doesn't help when he leaves his notes lying all around. I know. Come oh, man, his journal's right there out in the open. Hence the... Evidence. What was her father's name? Philip? Yeah, it was Philip. Okay. Now I think about it, I should have used the invisibility band here. You know? Uh, what was it? More called? lavender water. Well, you have a lot of lavender water. Ah, run away! Her mother could have just taken the journals to the police, and all of this could have been avoided. Yeah! What? Yeah! Why didn't... Oh my god, that's so true. But then again, this game does a lot of stupid things. Like, um, I mean, are the police just that incompetent? In this game, they are. Apparently. Or maybe Capcom doesn't believe in the police. I guess not. Instead, they <laughs> believe in perverse religions and a uh, girl in a very short skirt. School uniform, anyway. Yes. 
That's a good way to say Oh, wow, weird. I'll pretend like I understood all that and just say, I agree. Oh, look, I see her through the bookcase. Oh, but she can't see me, peekaboo. I wonder if you go and stand over there with she Hi. Let's look at her through the bookcase. Can't see her there. Okay. Am I facing her? Okay. I'm staring at you. Wow, that's saying something. I know. <laughs> oh, look, I saw the little... So did I. The blue? Yeah. Blue! I think you always notice something when it's blue. Yeah, I do. Like, I, I seek it out like a blue-seeking missile <laughs> instead of heat-seeking. Ha ha! I'm so witty! I was gonna say, like, a shark seeks blood, but that's kind of ew. morbid. But it's Shark Week! I know that, but still, ew. <laughs> Not that I watch Shark Week. Oh! My god, that scared me! The I door? thought the door, like, was opening again, and I was like, how did she end up over there? Wow, for once you got scared and I didn't. At least I don't scream, though, I'm just like, wah! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I think I was too busy thinking of Shark Week. <laughs> I know. Oh, but. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Just wait for it. Uh, okay, um, fill up again and then say because stupid cutscenes and crap are coming up. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, you? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> uh, I remember. Good luck, Eve. What? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! That's gonna suck. <laughs> yeah. It's like in our Dragon Age video when I was like, oh yeah, and then like two seconds later you're like, oh yeah, and everybody's like, uh. And then we're the ones editing, and then we're like, we don't even remember why we were oh yeah-ing. But apparently we knew at the time what we were talking about. I think I just said oh yeah just to kind of like agree with you and be like, I, I don't know what you're talking about, but I was going to say oh yeah anyway. Hey, it looks like there's an A in that door. Cutscene. Oh. Wake me up when it's over. It's, uh, this one's not very long. Oh. <gasps> Revelation. Okay, cutscene. Cutscene done! <laughs> Are you ready for this shit? <laughs> this looks photoshopped. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. It's, isn't that the Quaker oatmeal guy? Oh, yeah. I, never knew I love your oatmeal, sir. Not really. <laughs> I'm a big oatmeal person. It's good, I just don't eat it a lot. Oh look, we can actually read this one. Yes, Lord Darcy Burroughs owned much of Southeast England at the beginning of the 17th century. He married Natalia Hamilton of the illustrious Hamilton family, and they had one daughter, Annabelle. Despite his harsh reputation, Lord Burroughs loved his daughter dearly, bequeathing all his lands to her upon his death. In the 50th year of his life, Lord Burroughs, fearing the impermanence of life, learned of the entities and the ritual of engagement. With his daughter almost 15, he made the fateful decision to perform, perform the ritual. But then, disaster struck. <gasps> oh no! Oh no! On the day before her 15th birthday, Annabelle was killed. Surprise face! The carriage rolled in onto its side. Sad face. Shocked by the sudden death of his Surprise face! Daughter, as well as his inability to realize the ritual. Annoyed face. Burles fell into a deep depression. Sad face. When his despair finally dissipated, it was replaced by a raging anger. Very angry face. <laughs> Though he had both the coachman and the maid who were with Annabelle at the time of her death killed, it did little to assuage his anger. The massacre of his staff continued, even extending to villager villagers on his lands. Lady Burroughs did what she could to convince him to stop the savagery, but only succeeded in inflaming him further, and she, too, was felled. Lord Darcy Burroughs eventually died, crushed between the huge cogs that formed the mechanism of the clock tower of the castle as he escaped from the mobs of angry farmers. According to legend, he vowed to bl bl plague, not plague, plague the world with hate and terror for as long as the clock tower remains you were trying to say blight and plague at the same time, weren't you? <laughs> I wasn't thinking of plague. 
I was more of thinking of, you know, when I think of the name Darcy, <laughs> I always think of Mr. Darcy. So do I. Oh, oh yes. no. Ugh. I have found the Burroughs Castle. Good for you. I have finally solved the mystery. Good for you. Lord Darcy Burroughs. He's a regular Nancy Drew, isn't he? But also a son, William, from his first marriage. Although Burroughs himself was killed, William escaped lived out the rest of his days in peace under the pseudonym Billy Brown. What a strange twist of fate. Although I took the Hamilton name when I married Francesca, my father was a Brown, a descendant of Billy Brown, which means that I am directly related to Lord Burroughs. The A, D, and N crests also make perfect sense of Lord Burroughs' beloved daughter Annabelle's name, his first name, Darcy, and his wife's first name, Natalia. My name is Dick, my daughter is Nancy, and my lovely granddaughter is Alyssa. Destiny weaves its web in the strangest of patterns. It's called the DNA. Let the legacy of Lord Burroughs live on. The fury of he who failed to become an entity. Is it futile, after all, to fight against fate? <sighs> Enough. Okay. So, Wait, so, there's a cutscene. Oh, god damn. <laughs> we have to learn the fate of Dennis. <laughs> Not like I care.